Hello and welcome to another episode of Pageants and Pythons. This is day six of 25 of Christmas tutorials. And again, I apologize for being late this evening. We are just arriving home after doing our rehearsal for our local community theater's performance of It's a Wonderful Life. So what we're going to be making tonight is this wine caddy. It goes on top of your wine bottle and then holds two glasses on the side. So let's get started. So this mold came from Timu, I believe, and I'm going to be using a white acrylic paint, a burgundy acrylic paint, red glitter as always, some silvery kind of whitish glitter, and then I'm going to be using gold leafing, which I absolutely love. Then I'm also going to be using just a solid clear pour. So this is, again, a two-part epoxy resin that I have stirred for eight minutes. A lot of the instructions you say do say three, but I have found that it just doesn't work for me with three minutes. Um, some people say they do five. I just like to be sure because I have ruined too many projects by not stirring enough. So I'm going to put just a small amount of this kind of burgundy wine red into my two-part epoxy resin, and I'm going to stir it up really well. What you don't want to do is use too much of your acrylic paints. They are water-based, and if you use too much, your epoxy is not going to set. So just make sure you mix that really well. And then I get to add glitter. I love glitter. Maybe a problem of mine. I feel like it adds something fancy to everything. And if I make a mistake and I add glitter, I feel like it makes up for it. And I'm probably wrong about that. But I'm going to still pretend. So we're going to add the glitter. Mix it up really well again. And then I am going to add this whitish glitter to my clear epoxy cup. And on this one, I'm not going to add any colorant because I do sometimes like to have a little bit of clear, but just some shimmer on it. So I'm going to have this one just stir up really, really well and put that over to the side. So the next one I'm going to do is with my white acrylic paint. And this is a really cheap paint from the Dollar Tree. So we are going to hope and we are going to pray that this turns out okay because, well... I was cheap and I bought cheap paint. And so just, you know, you guys say a little prayer for me that this turns out okay. So I'm going to mix that up really, really, really well. I, I, I learned my mistake when I started it because it became a little chunky. So I probably won't use that again. Uh, and then I'm going to add glitter because, well, it didn't look great. And so glitter's going to fix it. And then I'm going to stir that up, make sure I get all the glitter mixed in. Again, I wouldn't use Dollar Tree paint. It's not very good. Stick to some decent paints. So then in my final cup, I'm going to use my gold leafing. And if I have showed you guys some of the videos before, I just take chunks of it and throw it in. Uh, when you're using gold leafing, I used to break it up, waste a ton of time. And I have found out that, you know, you really don't have to do that. Sorry, spilling it everywhere. That's okay. It's going to go in there anyway. So let's take the little clips out and just boop, boop. Okay. Anyways, we're going to stir it up really, really well. And it breaks it up for you. I'm going to start with this. And I'm going to speed it up a bit, guys, because this took me quite a while. Um, don't ask me why. But I'm just pouring circle layers around it, letting them spread out on their own. And then I'm going back and forth between the gold, the clear, and then the red. And kind of doing just, I don't know, not really even kind of a pattern. I, I, I feel like I would be so much better at this if I would plan them and draw them out. But then I don't think I would love it as much as I do. I'm, I like to just kind of go and do things as I like, as I see, but, um, you know, maybe in the future I'll get better about planning out my designs, but I kind of just play as I go. And these can be done in any color, with any glitters, with any patterns. It's really up to you guys. So the next thing I'm going to do is kind of my white lines in here. So when I first poured this out, you see it is clear almost. It is not what I wanted. Again, I think it's because I used a cheap paint, tried to get out easy, but... We're going to add a little bit more white uh, paint in there. And then I'm going to stir, 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 de -de stir, because this was an awful idea. Never, never, never again. But that's okay. So then I'm going to draw kind of these little lines in there to give it an effect. And if you see, I really hate how that line came out. So I'm going to draw all my lines. And then I'm going to come back in with a popsicle stick. 
And I'm going to kind of smush them up and make them a little less perfect because those perfect lines do not give me that effect that I'm looking for at all. I really did not like them. Um, but lessons learned, you know, this is kind of part of the process. And I try to show videos where I mess up a little bit too because I watched so many videos and people are so perfect and it made me feel very bad about my art. And then I want to show people that it's not perfect. And um, so I, I think I'm going to add some blooper videos on too. Let me know if you guys want to see some of my complete and utter fails, although they're embarrassments. Um, <laughs> I hate them. I think that it might be fun. Um, so then I'm going to draw kind of a swiggly, wiggly the line here. Going to come back in. Going to splish it and smoosh it and spread it all around and make some imperfect little lines. And uh, yeah, so hopefully this will uh, fix up my little project. Uh, I'd like to hear maybe while we're doing this one, what's your favorite kind of wine? I always try and ask a question, learn about some of my viewers and find out what they like. Uh, do you guys like reds? Do you like whites? Do you like sweet sparklings? I don't know. I myself, I really like sparklings. I am a Prosecco girl. One of our Christmas traditions is that we do mimosas for brunch, and I love it. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. All right, and again, I'm coming in here and kind of messing this lines up a little bit because this paint was awful. I'm going to say it again. Horrible mistake. Spend the money. Get good stuff. Doesn't pay to be cheap. All right, so then what we're going to do is I'm going to put this onto my resin heating mat takes about eight hours to cure, and here it is the next day. I don't hate the way it turned out, but I would never, ever, ever use the white paint from Dollar Tree again. Lesson learned. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you'd like for me to make, and I will see you all tomorrow. Have a wonderful night and a very Merry Christmas season.